Hello everybody and welcome back to Turning Tuesday. This week I have got some OSB and I have got some blue pigment for some epoxy and we're going to mix the two together and create a pen out of it. Let's get going. So if you can't tell already, this is gonna be another one of my random videos where I just try something completely mental in the hope that it looks all right and in the hope that it actually works. So I've got enough material here for two pen blanks most likely, and that gives me opportunity to do two different designs as well. The first one, I'm just gonna put two blocks of wood inside the casting and then epoxy it like that, and then hopefully, the epoxy will find its way through the layers and create a nice effect. The only problem I might have with this is the epoxy not soaking in far enough and therefore this blank will just blow up on the lathe, which would not be ideal. For the second design, I'm gonna do something that I never thought I'd do. Uh, yeah. We all know how precious this material is. I mean, it's borderline sacred and what I'm about to do, what I'm about to do should get you jail time. I'm gonna hit it with a hammer and I'm gonna slightly break it apart in order to let more epoxy between the layers and therefore give sort of a more fractal pattern to the OSB and the resin that's running through it. <sighs> okay. This hurts so much. It's like voodoo. That hurt to do. Right, there's our two blanks, one pristine, one mushed up. So the pigment that I'm using for this is that blue one that I showed you in the intro, and it's from this soap colorant set that I found on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description. I have just tested it out on next week's Turning Tuesday because I'm filming two in one day today, and it works pretty well. It works quite well. So link to that is in the description if you're interested in the pigment that I'm using to dye these pen blanks. So we'll mix up some epoxy and then get some of this blue stuff into it. Shiny blue is the name of it. Shiny blue, I've got high hopes. Oh wow, they weren't lying when they said shiny blue. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, and then I've got these screw holders that I've lined with this plastic material. So I'll pop that in there. Just give this a stir with this and get some of it in there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be mental. All right, and then I'll tape this shut so I can bring that epoxy line up to the top of that blank. So you can see it's a little bit shy at the moment. I didn't want to put too much in. But if I do that, then I should be able to get the majority of that blank covered. So there it is in there. Not going to be able to see much, but there you go. So I've got these bits of OSB just pushing it up against the side of this container, therefore raising the level of the epoxy and completely submerging that blank in there. So. We'll do the same with the other blank and then see what we get tomorrow morning. Now, a quick note with epoxy, bear in mind that when it's drying, there is an exothermic reaction going on in there, which means it gets very, very hot. So I have wrapped that casting within a plastic cover and what I've done is left them outside to harden. So this is the one that I've just done with the two bits stuck together, just those two plain bits of OSB. And then this is the one that was the OSB that's broken up. You can see, that it's just one big hard lump and it has actually started melting the plastic around it as well. Actually, that is very, very hot still. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. If you've got a big mass of epoxy, then that thing is gonna get really, really hot. If you spread it out over a large surface in a thin layer, then it doesn't tend to get that hot, but a big block of it, 
never leave it overnight to dry is what I would say. I would keep an eye on it for the first hour or two. And then once you feel that reaction starting to cool down, then you're probably all right. But never, never leave it in your workshop overnight or unattended because there is enough workshop fires going on due to silly little things like that. And I absolutely hate hearing that kind of stuff going on. So yeah, be vigilant about it and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's now the next morning and my pen blanks are ready. So I'll get these cut down on the bandsaw according to the size of the barrels in the pen kit, drill a hole in them, and then we'll mount it on the lathe. Okay, so the OSB blanks that I smashed up a little bit have, they've got a lot of air bubbles and stuff in them, which um, is not ideal. Ideally, I would have liked them to be solid all the way through and obviously some sort of pressure pot kind of thing with epoxy in it would have solved this, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. These will be my practice ones. The other ones have turned out pretty well. They look quite consistent all the way through. The only issue with these being that the epoxy may not have found its way into the OSB properly because again, I don't have that pressure pot. So we'll see what it's like. Worst comes to worst, it'll blow up on the lathe and create some good content. And I've just realized I haven't sanded these down flush with the barrels. <sighs> Anyway, as I was saying, can't actually remember what I was saying now, to be honest, I'll just get these turned and hope for the best. Self-explanatory, really. It's actually looking all right. It's not awful. There is a, uh, there's a missing chip up here and a few chips here and there that are exposing the brass tube underneath, but let's call it, let's call it a feature, shall we? So I am gonna try the super glue finish again for this because this went horribly wrong on one of my other pens and I, yeah, I need to come back with a vengeance and actually get it right. And also this OSB probably needs the super glue to, uh, support it. So last time I did this, I turned the lathe off and then applied it with a rag from underneath just by spinning it. But then that ended up sticking the rag to it and it just went terribly wrong. I was simply following a video on this, but since then everyone's just saying, apply it with the lathe on, which does seem to make more sense. Lots of thin coats and, um, oh, I've also got activator this time as well. So it should harden it quicker. <laughs> Thank you. 
Damn. Well, I was hoping to do a grand reveal of both the pens together, but, um, yeah. This one has not worked. I guess breaking up the OSB to begin with before pouring in the epoxy was the way forward. Because it seems with this one, although we got this lovely blue stripe down the middle of it, it's... Yeah, there's just not enough epoxy within the OSB to hold it together and it just pretty much blew up on me. It's a shame because I was planning on doing this big reveal of both the pens assembled because the first one has worked. It is in here. I was hoping to do this big reveal of both of them together, but um, I guess I can just show you this one. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, surprisingly, this actually went okay. So as a reminder for the process, get the OSB, break it up, pour in the epoxy, let that dry, turn it down to the required diameter, and then I finish this in about five layers of super glue, I think, lightly cutting back between each layer. And then I just put a coat of friction polish over the top of that, which has left it, I think that's about as smooth as you'll get OSB, to be honest, unless I really did coat it in a lot of layers of super glue, but very happy, very surprised at the outcome, the fact that I actually managed to do it. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. So uh, as always, if you like the video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.